Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Justice Ricky for the Court of Truth. Well, the left experienced another devastating loss last night with uh, John Ossoff losing to Republican Karen Handel in the Georgia's 6th Congressional District special election. Now, this is uh, by far, it's been reported that this has been by far the most expensive congressional race in U.S. history with over $24 million dollars and that's a conservative estimate, being spent on Democrat John Ossoff's campaign. He, uh, his campaign outspent Karen Handel by six to one on television and radio advertising. Um, again, all these tens of millions of dollars funding his campaign. Uh, I think about 95% of it coming from out of state, from uh, the DNC and, and other Democratic super PACs. Um, but still, with all this money, the Democrats can't seem to even buy a shot. And not only this, they lost two special elections in one night with um, Ralph Norman, the Republican candidate, winning a special election in South Carolina's 5th Cong Congressional District. Now, the uh, Georgia 6th special election has really been hyped. And, I mean, I kind of looked at it and said, okay, well, I mean... You know, it's a, it's a race for a seat in the U.S. House, big deal. But the mainstream media and the left has really been hyping this special election, uh, trying to show the resistance, the anti-Trump movement, and saying, well, the, the anti-Trump sentiment throughout the country is growing stronger, and this special election is just going to be a microcosm of that show how dissatisfied people are with Trump. Now, this congressional district in Georgia, um, in 2016, Trump only won it by 1.5%, so it was very close. And uh, so they're saying, well, we got to flip the sixth. And if Ossoff can win the special election here, then it'll show that Trump is very unpopular. Now, not only did he lose, but he lost by quite a bit. Karen Handel ended up winning by almost 10,000 votes, or 3.8 percent. So, and, and uh, again, in the days and weeks leading up to this, the mainstream media has been saying, well, this is going to be a referendum on Trump. And now they're not saying that because they lost, and they lost by quite a bit. So if it truly is a referendum on Trump, then it would only show that he's even more popular than he was uh, November of last year at the election. So, uh, I guess that makes the Democrats 0 for 4. So, um, President Trump promised us we'd get tired of winning. I'm not tired of it yet, but there sure is quite a bit of winning. So, um, and it's, it's kind of funny because this John Ossoff, 30 years old, they thought obviously he'd be popular with young people, young voters, um, and, and uh, I guess he was uh, an amateur documentarian and a congressional aide to uh, Georgia Congressman Hank Johnson, who, by the way, famously said in 2010 that he feared the island of Guam would become overpopulated and capsize, tip over into the ocean. He, I, you can't even make this up. He said that. But um, Ossoff was his congressional aide. Um, and the thing about Ossoff that, that a lot of people thought was weird was he doesn't even live in the district that he was trying to represent. But th this seems to be the people that the Democrats pick, that they dredge up to, to try and run. And uh, again, handpicked by Nancy Pelosi, the congresswoman who still thinks Bush is president. And so... People are, around the country, becoming dissatisfied with uh, the mainstream, with the Democratic Party, with the liberal agenda, and the left isn't doing themselves any favors, pushing this division and rhetoric. They talk about Trump using rhetoric, but theirs is completely over the top, calling for violence and people are turned off to this. They they want to win again. They want to 
have their jobs back. They want to cut taxes on the middle class. And uh, the Democrats really don't seem to have anything positive to offer. And that's why they keep losing. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Justice Ricky for the Court of Truth. We will see you in court.